you see that area right there, that brown area? That is a massive polynehu, which is bait fish. Over the edge, I see flashes, silver flashes. Earlier, I saw a huge school of papilla coming by, which, which are basically keeping the bait fish in here. They're hugging the shoreline, but the uh, fish on the outside are not hitting any lures. They want something live and fresh. Man, look at all the bait fish along the shoreline. They're just moving in, moving out. So this, and I hear fish jumping behind me. There's fish around today. Gotta fight the birds for it. Okay, I'm gonna be using something I haven't used in a while. I'm gonna be using my 13.3 um, customized IRW with the Shimano Otago 5500 so I just cut a piece of frozen shrimp all right so we're gonna what we do is I'm gonna use um, two sections meaning the, the scale sections above the head and at least I keep the head on because that meat there will block in the gut from spilling out from the head so I'm gonna put the uh, hook to it it's a little bit stiff because it is frozen and it's an offset hook, so it's not going to be a clean um, adhesion to the hook. And we're going to top this off with some um, thread, some Miracle Mike's thread. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, I just threw out my custom 13.3 IRW. I have a uh, Shimano Ortega 5500 on it. So I just put out a piece of frozen shrimp. So hopefully this will catch something. I'm going to go relax on my chair right now. But I got a bell over here that will tell me if I have a strike or not. So, and let's see what happens. Alright guys, today I'm going to be using my whipping rig. Which is known as a spinning rig for the CHL grubs so this here is an akuma t40x it's a great great rod it's it's um called float drift see i have a shimano strata 3000 on it float drift t-40x it is 10 feet 9 inches long is rated for eight to 17 pounds and three eighths to one and a half ounces lure weight. Okay, that's one, two. Okay, there's a break there for the two-piecer because they're even. Three, four, five, six, seven eight nine pretty good nine guides plus the tip all right using a half ounce lead egg with a coast lock snap not bad it's 10 pound braid main line to 20 pound sts fluorocarbon works pretty good my god so much big fish just giving short casts. A big cast would have been better today instead of a spinner. But there's a lot of, I can see papillo and barracudas around today. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Ah, man, this, this fish around today. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, look at that. I can see the trevallis in the water whacking these. Uh, I don't know what they are. Some kind of big fish. But hopefully they'll like the herring lure. Got one. Got a hit. 
not a big fish, but it's fighting pretty good. Okay, start stepping back. I was on this flat slab here as my platform. Got to track back to the mud. Yeah, he's not pretty much of a struggle. Might be a barracuda or a small trevally. Hmm. Color looks like a papillo now, which is a small trevally. Don't want to pull too hard. Yep. Here he comes. Here he comes. And there he is. Okay. Not bad. All right, this herring grub is called the, the obake. What happens, it took a huge hit. Something grabbed it in the middle, tore almost to it. Almost lost the lure. As you can see, the, because of the pressure, it tore the hook almost completely out when it was in there, but I was able to get it back. But this, this lure is unusable now. As you can see, whatever it was, just grabbed the back end. It didn't grab the head.